everyone. So in this video, we're going to set up Widevine, Play Ready, and Fair Play um, DRM Studio approved the encryption with um, the S3 Bubble DRM plugin. Okay, we've also we've done it with the themes, so you can have a look at that video. Um, but now we're going to do it with the plugin. Okay, so we're going to do it from scratch. If you go over to documentation, just going to give you a couple of things you need under CloudFormation templates, uh, EZ DRM. Okay, what you want to do is you want to download this template here. Okay, so download that to your desktop. Um, and then what we'll be doing is we'll be using that in AWS. Okay, so let's go ahead and go over to AWS. And you want to go to Cloud Formation, search for it in the box, Cloud Formation, create stack, upload template, and I'm going to upload the template from my desktop. Okay, so the template has been uploaded. I'm going to click Next, and we'll call this um, S3 Bubble DRM uh, Plugin. DRM Plugin. Okay, um, and then we can add our company names here like normal. So this will be, um, we'll just call this EZDRM. Uh, we'll call this one EZDRM. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to enter my EZDRM password and um, email. Okay, so if you haven't done it already, go over to EZDRM.com and sign up for an account. And then they'll give you an email, a password that you can use. So I'll enter them now and then click next twice. Okay, so I've entered my EZDRM email and password and click next twice and now we can create our stack. Okay, So this is going off and creating all the resources we need um, to be able to do a studio approved DRM. But what we'll also do is if you go over to services while that's completing, I'm just going to open up I am in another uh, tab and what we're going to do is make the connection to um, S3 bubble. Okay, So let's go back to S3 bubble Okay, and we're going to want to enter our keys in here. So you can take this policy. Now you don't have to use all these actions. We're going to be using Media Convert to do the encoding. Um, obviously, you don't need Media Live or Package or Tailor. You know, you need to. You can edit and adjust this however you want for your workflow. Okay. So what we'll do: go back to I am over to I am, and then we're going to create a policy. This is a policy that we're going to be using. Okay, and we'll create a policy, and we'll paste in JSON. So the JSON we just copied, we'll simply paste that in. You can add some tags, and we'll just call this S3 Bubble. Um, we'll call this uh, Main Connection. Okay, and then obviously you can give it a description. Create policy. Okay, so that's created our policy. Now we obviously need to attach this to a user. So add a user. Give it a name. The same one can be the, just can be the same as the policy. Next permissions we want to attach our policy that we just created okay so it's as simple as that next and review okay so when we create user it's going to show us some keys okay so I download these keys as CSV but what I'll do is I'll paste these keys into S3 bubble you should never show anyone your keys um, but this is just just a tutorial and you can easily delete users and keys afterwards which is what I'll be doing okay but I'm going to copy these into the S3 bubble dashboard okay so I've copied my keys in now I can click submit it will say we're successfully connected and then what it's going to do is it's just going to go off and run some ch connections and um, you want to make sure that it's connected to S3 CloudFront and made it mainly media convert okay so it might take a um, second to go but as you can see it's already listed that a one CloudFront distribution is in progress and that's because that's being created via our cloud formation um, template that we've got running here okay so what we'll do is we'll go back to S3 Bubble and I'm just going to show you we've just got a simple WordPress website set up and on the website we've got the S3 Bubble plugin installed okay the S3 Bubble DRM plugin is installed so if you go to S3 Bubble options and then plugin options what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head over to my EZ DRM account and what we're going to do is we're going to set up our license URLs okay so for the play ready URL you need to take the last six digits Okay, off your play ready profile ID okay so we can go ahead and paste that in here so the last six digits of your play ready profile ID and then we'll go down to your widevine account and you need the last six digits of your widevine profile ID okay so that's important to set up your license URLs now for fair play um, you need to do it differently first of all you need to get approved by um, Apple Fairplay Streaming, and then they'll give you um, a some documentation on how to create this Fairplay cert. Um, you do it through your key manager on your Mac, and then you can upload that to a location 
that it will then use okay so important go ahead and set up your license URL so you're ready to go okay and what we'll do is I'll open a I'll add a new post okay and the plugin is set up to work with the WordPress block editor Elementor um, page builder or you can simply paste the code in directly okay and um, we'll use the block editor WP um, and we'll put EZDRM okay so click add and we're gonna click S3 bubble DRM okay now it's gonna ask us for widevine code play ready code and fair play code and the fair play asset ID okay and we haven't created any code yet have we because we've um, we've not done any encoding we're waiting for our CloudFormation stack to complete and our CloudFormation stack has now completed successfully so that's great so what we can do now is we can go ahead and encode our first video so I'll go back over to S3 bubble and then what we'll do is we'll go over to AWS storage okay and look at our storage and you can see it set up our buckets for us through the CloudFormation template and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the desktop app okay so we've got the desktop app open here and I just wanted to show you with the desktop app we've got lots of um, post-production setups that you can use so you can resize your videos crop your images videos crop create GIFs trim audio you can also insert ads and insert um, audio into audio pieces if that makes sense so you can add a kind of like introduction at the start or if you have advertisers then you can actually embed it into the video and the great thing about this is it won't it, ad blockers cannot block this okay because it's actually inserted so you can insert your add-ins and then obviously watermarks um, biff thumbnail generation create time-lapse videos normalize media so there's lots you can do here we're just going to be uploading a video so I'm just gonna get a video now and select it okay so I've just selected my video and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna upload it to our private EZDRM bucket okay and click save and continue and then submit and we've made the connection with the desktop app to our AWS account um, similar process to creating a user so it's really simple to do okay so go ahead and set that up so once that's done we can go back and take a look at our bucket okay and you can see we've got our uploaded video here so let's go ahead and encode this for one of our um, DRM providers so let's encode it first for uh, play ready and widevine so first of all we need our DRM key provider URL okay so that's been created through the template go to outputs and just grab this URL here so this is what's going to be used and then go back and then click enter and then paste okay to enter resource IDs okay what we'll do is we'll save a resource ID create a new one and then submit now you don't have to do this you can use any resource ID you want um, but we'll just stick to this one and then for system IDs we're going to be using widevine and play ready so widevine for Chrome and Firefox and play ready for Internet Explorer save and continue save and continue save and continue uh, output bucket this is the delivery bucket for EZDRM and we're going to use a random ID for the folder and then the CloudFront distribution is the one that has, everything's been created through the CloudFormation template. Okay, and just to note, geo restrictions you can go to AWS CloudFront here, and then you can add geo restrictions for your for any country you want. You can blacklist or whitelist countries, so you have full control here. Okay, um, so save and continue. And f okay, so for Play Ready and a Wide Vine, you need to be using Dash. So let's use Dash, and we'll submit. Okay, and would you like to go to your job we can go to a job now but let's go ahead and go back and let's actually create an encoding job for our uh, fair play as well so we've also got our fair play system ID set up so enter paste okay just to note that this is sometimes a bit um, sort of buggy to enter the URL in here but this will be fixed so let's go ahead and grab our asset ID so you need to write down this resource ID what I'm going to do is write it down now okay so I've written down the resource ID we need this because we'll need it for our ass ID, asset ID for fair play and let's go to fair play and next next exactly the same as before same bucket delivery bucket random ID but obviously you can put in anything you want we're going to be using the same cloud from um, cloud front distribution and then for the job template obviously fair play is HLS okay so we're going to be using HLS and then submit okay Would you like to go there now yes okay great so the good thing now is we know that this code is for our fair play player so for um, play ready sorry for um, widevine and play ready so we can grab that code and simply paste it in to widevine and paste it into play ready okay and then go back and then we can take our player code for our fair play encoding job 
and then we can paste that into um, the fair play code okay so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to wait for um, the uh, fair play job to complete here until it's gone to complete and then we'll head over to our EZDRM account and then under AWS resource and asset IDs okay well it's already been done so you can see that this is our resource ID that we used we need to take this asset ID okay copy and paste and then you also need to add that okay for your fair play and then you are pretty much set up so what I'll do is I'll publish this now check your distribution is finished and this has changed to complete okay and then as soon as that's done then you can go over to view your post okay and as you can see our post is streaming um, through uh, Widevine because um, we're currently on Chrome and then it will use Widevine I'm sorry it will use Widevine as well for Firefox and then for Internet Explorer it will use PlayReady and then I'll just open up Safari now okay so just want to show the video now obviously working in Safari so this is working in Safari with um, Fairplay and um, yeah just to note because I'm using a screen recorder this is what will happen in Safari um, it will obviously blank out the screen so you can't do screen recording through um, Fairplay and Safari so it's good to leave that in you might think it's broken but it's not if I turn this screen recorder off now it will actually play the video okay so yeah that's how you set up studio approved DRM with um, EZ DRM and S3 bubble and also using AWS uh, quite a big workflow but um, this is what you need to get the uh, top uh, level DRM uh, currently available okay thanks